Hello, Silver Grayscale here, getting back to more. Let's play a hat in time. And today, we are headed for chapter 3. So now, our bedroom has been restored, and Subcom Forest is now available. However, that's not all that's available in here now. For if you have the ice hat equipped, and you jump down here where the light is, we end up in a secret little uh, area here. Day 10. This moon set sure is, getting bu sure is getting busy. There's so many penguins showing up, and some m are bringing balloons. And there are these floats that are super big. Everything is looking so pretty. DJ Groove said they're all here for me. I can't let everybody down. I don't know what they're going and what we're gonna do next. But I know I have to try my best for all my fans. This is Hat Kid's diary. Now there are entries for uh, Hat Kid's diary even earlier in the game. So, I'm gonna cut ahead, and I'm gonna find the earliest one up to, um, uh, day 10. Just keep in mind, I have no idea how to access the <laughs> these, because you need the, um, you need access to the bedroom, and you lose that as soon as you, well, as soon as you end up in Mafia Town for the first time. And you need, you know, the ice hat. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. So, um, the following are after every single act in Mafia Town, starting with Act 1. So, I am stranded. A big guy in a chef's a apron and a suit knocked on my door and decided to mess everything up. Apparently, they are the Mafia of Cooks. Why I couldn't have, uh, why couldn't I have gotten stranded near a normal planet? Act 2. Barrel battle. I'm not super sure what uh, what that was supposed to be. Some big loser stood around and threw barrels at me. Some even had spikes on. Who has spiked barrels? <laughs> Act 3. She came from outer space. Wow, and I thought the regular Mafia were weirdos. At least they had a timepiece I could take. How did they keep finding these things? Then we have Act 4, Down with the Mafia. No wonder these guys are so dumb, if that's who they put in charge. I guess nobody's the boss now though. Whoops. Now, Act 5, Cheating the Race, is something we can't do quite yet, but I'm gonna read this entry anyway. There's no way we can see it even after we do it, well, when we're supposed to do it. Ha! That will show those dumb Mafia guys uh, how outdated single-stage powder-based incendiary propulsion is. Winning fairly is overrated anyway. Act 6, Heating Up Mafia Town. It's so hot! 
Something seriously wrong has happened to the island. It looks like a huge volcano went off. The Mafia guys are too big and tough to admit it, but the heat is definitely getting to them. Mafia guys get way smelly when, uh, when they sweat. Well, way smellier. And last but not least, for Act one, uh, for Chapter 1, we have the Golden Vault. You know, I've been seeing these, tic uh, these tickets all around Mafia Town. Blue, red, green, yellow. They're kind of pretty. I have been wondering uh, where they all go, though. And I've been wondering what the Mafia could be keeping inside those things, too. Well... Today's the day I'm gonna find out. <laughs> All right. Now we have... Um, chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. <laughs> Act 1, Dead Bird Studio. I just met the strangest group of birds I've ever seen. Ever. One is a big disco penguin, and the other is a, um, bird-ish thing? Is he even a bird? I have no idea. Uh, birds usually don't have teeth, but this guy does. It's creepy. They're fighting to see who can make the best movie. Uh, that's in quotes, because no one really seems to want to fight, except the conductor. <laughs> Next up we have Murder on the Owl Express. You know, there's a lot of creepy crowd crow type things getting on this train too actually everyone getting on is acting real funny even the owls and they're harmless nerdy guys i feel like something bad might happen since it feels so freaky but the conductor is definitely um how do i put this loud pushy yeah, how about persuasive anyway gotta go catch a train And uh, the second to last one, picture perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, that big penguin, penguin DJ said I could be a star. I wonder if he means like a pop star. Wait, uh, do I have to learn how to sing? Maybe an internet star. No, no, a movie star. DJ Groove said he's going to take care of all that stuff. I just have to show up on set and I'm going to be famous. I can't wait. I just hope I don't have to sing. And last but not least, the act that we have not been able to do yet. Uh, because we're missing a thing that we're actually going to get in this new chapter. Train Rush. Every time I'm around the conductor, I can hear him mumbling about his movie. I think he's trying to figure out something big, huge, impressive, exciting, amazing thing to do with his train. I mean, okay, maybe his movie could use more action or something, like, um, uh, I actually have no idea what he could do. Being a movie director must be hard. And that's every uh, bit of um, hidden stuff that we can find. Now, there are, of course more um, entries, but we don't have access to uh, them yet, because you need to more or less beat the uh, chapter in question, or the act in question. So for now, we're jumping to Subcon Forest with Act 1, Contractual Obligations. So, Subcom Forest is this game's, and I use the term loosely here, 
horror-themed level. It has some creepy areas and some creepy set pieces, but it's not necessarily horror. I mean, it is spooky, it definitely is, but it's not, you know, your next Resident Evil or anything. So, we have these firewalls that keep us from, well, going where we're not supposed to go. Which is sad, because I see ponds back here. <laughs> so, I know you, what you might be thinking when you're watching this episode. Oh my god, is this level. Yes, this game is infamous for a few things. Mainly one of the acts coming up, but also the fact that... Do you see that noose over there? Yeah, this game... Uh, this area has a lot of creepy stuff. Sadly, we don't have anything that we can buy here, so... Uh, we'll have to wait. So you're running away from us, with pawns there, and we can't quite interact with these nooses yet. So let's follow the pawns, and follow this person, and we're trapped. Doesn't matter how fast you click, you're not gonna be freed. It's basically timed. Keep striking until the game decides that it's enough. This is nature. <laughs> and my nose messed up, but yeah, his name is Snatcher. And he is voiced by Youngton. Or Youngton uh, Town. So, let's read this contract here. Our contract is to clean out the subcon well. This will open up Acts 1 and 2 for us. So we can zoom in here. We need to find the village, murder the spirits, and clean out the well. This will, of course, unlock Acts 1 and 2. And, well, all we need to do is just sign the contract. But you might be wondering, what happens if you decline the contract? I won't sign. I won't sign. I won't sign. Yep, he kills you. And thus, you have to do that whole song and dance again.
I will spare you guys to walk back, and I will see you at the, um, uh, the contract signing. Alright, so here we are yet again. This time, let's actually sign the thing. You feel exceedingly empty inside. So yeah, as you can see, we now have this contract. Any contract you gain here in Subcom Forest ends up here. Now, being without a soul doesn't stop you from, well, finishing this one task and then, let's say, going to another level. So... We gotta turn these apples. Explosive and shock him at the eye. That gives us the Dweller Mask yarn. <coughs> and we already have enough to stitch it. It's a fox mask. Of course it changes when you, well, changes the flare on it. So, as you can see there is a creepy warning here, and well, we can't go there yet, thankfully. So let's blast open some graves and get ourselves some pawns for our trouble. We do have badges that we want to buy, of course. So you might be wondering, what does a Dweller Mask do exactly? Well. We will get to that uh, very soon. So yeah, we have <laughs> completed the first thing. We found Subcom Village. And we have another grave here. <laughs> so yeah, you guessed it. The graves are basically your boxes here. Why, hello there. You didn't 
contractual obligations lately? You better be. Remember our little deal? Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there in the middle of my village. Their little dance is clearly these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting the parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. of them. I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, trooper. This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient. So yeah, doesn't matter from which side that you enter the, uh, well, the campsite here. Because he will still uh, pop off, uh, pop up, uh, pop up, and basically tell you about, you know, what he wants you to do with the uh, with the fire spirits. So, to deal with the fire spirits, we need to take these paintings that are all over, basically connected to them uh, by these shadowy energy things, and just toss the painting onto the... Uh, the fire, that's all you gotta do. So, now let's actually buy the scooter badge. I mean, I could buy the equip more badges, but this one is important for reasons. So yeah, we need some more uh, shinies to uh, by the next one. Well, that was the crappy timing. So, let's try this again. That's the icy yarn. So, let's head over this way, grab some pawns on our way. Grabbing all the pawns we can find. So, let's nab this. Now, you might be wondering... I was about to say, you might be wondering, how the heck did we get this exploding apple to the spirit there? Well, that's how you do it. However, getting it back in is another question entirely. <laughs> because you don't have time to take this all around the back of the graveyard here. You gotta be quick. And use bouncy mushrooms to your advantage. <laughs> Always go out of your way to grab um, yarn. And, well, the biggest reason for it is, well, the moment you get a new type of yarn, it can be nice to stitch the new hat immediately. So, here we go, we break that ice and we get ourselves a relic. Any 
And it's probably the easiest one to get. If you want to, you can always save that one to last. I honestly have no idea which order I take these in. I just take them. And also, my nose decided to act up due to allergies today. So that's... That's amazing. My nose could have gone, couldn't have picked a worse day to act up than the day I kind of have to get as much of this game recorded as I can. I am, of course, aiming for all of it, but, you know, we'll see. There we go, that's another relic for us. So let's just toss this to the fire. Climb onto the stop house. And before we grab that, I want to grab this pawn. And with that, we have dealt with the uh, spirits. So we have two new contracts here for us. The first one is to get him something from the manor. This opens up Act 4. And then we have Act 5 to deliver mail. And there is no leaving. You gotta pick one. We're picking Act 4, people. So yeah, with that, we have Act 1 completed. What have we gotten ourselves into? 